Now let's discuss about the non-inverting amplifier. The basic operational amplifier is having the second category that is non-inverting amplifier which has been depicted here. The input signal that is V in you can see here is applied to the non-inverting input terminal. The resistor R in is connected from the inverting input to the ground. So this one is a ground. The feedback resistor this one RF is connected between the output and the input that is the inverting input. Here you can see the resistors RF and RN so this one and this one form a resistive ratio network in order to produce the feedback voltage which is VA needed at the in inverting input. If you see here the feedback voltage which has been represented before as VA is developed across RN over here. Since the potential of the inverting input tends to be the same as the non-inverting input which has been pointed out with the description of virtual ground, we can simply say that V in is equal to V A. Since V A is equal to V in, the gain of the amplifier can be expressed as A V is equal to V out divided by V A. Over here, AV is indicating the gain of the amplifier, V out is indicating the voltage, that is the output voltage, and VA is indicating the feedback voltage. However, VA, that is feedback voltage, is determined by the resistance ratio of V in and by the resistance ratio of R in and RF. Thus, VA can be expressed as R in divided by RF plus R in multiplied by V out or else we can simply express this equation as V out divided by V A is equal to RF plus R in divided by R in. So from this we will be getting the equation V out divided by V A is equal to 1 plus RF divided by R in. If you take this Rn as the individual denominator for both the cases, Rn divided by Rn will be 1. So we have represented 1 plus Rf divided by Rn. Therefore, Av, that is the gain of the amplifier is equal to 1 plus Rf divided by Rn. Finally, we got the output voltage that can be found by V out is equal to 1 divided by Rf divided by R in multiplied by V in. So it is seen that the input and output voltages are in phase. 